So to just jump into our app, uh, my name is Rarish. I'm one of the co-founders, uh, and I kind of had the technology for uh, the demo that you're going to see tonight with LogoJoy. And uh, this is uh, Michael Irvine. He's uh, assist helped me out with the demo. He's kind of our head of our marketing. So um, if you have any other questions about how you know we do our marketing and how we scaled up, he'd be the great person to talk to after. Um, but just to quickly jump into why this product came to exist and why we decided to sort of build out this tool. Uh, as a lot of people in this uh, room know, that the internet has really helped to uh, enhance barriers to, so enhance communication and reduce barriers to marketing entry for small businesses. And that's really helped companies that want to reach their niche customer, as Jason pointed out, have a lot easier means of doing that. Uh, but in a, in a really saturated world of lots of different brands and lots of different companies, one of the most important things that you need to do to stand out is to develop your brand. And one of the things that we've learned from uh, looking into this market is that a brand always starts with a logo. And from there, you can build trust, you can build a community, you can build an audience, and then you can help increase your ability to connect with the people that you want and help your small business grow. So we see ourselves as a tool to help small businesses accelerate. Um, and so how do we do that? Well, we built a tool that tries to leverage machine learning and a little bit of deep learning to basically bring out the innate ideas that people have about their brand. So instead of talking about it for a long time, I'm just going to jump right into it. And we're going to build a brand tonight and show you guys how this tool works in hopefully under three minutes and 30 seconds. Um, so I'm gonna, every brand starts with a story. So I'm going to tell you about a story about the brand we're going to make tonight. Um, so my girlfriend, she's got a penchant for making up words uh, a lot of the time. And she has one word that I've really come to develop an affinity for that uh, I wanted to build a brand around tonight. Uh, so we have a lot of animals in the house. Uh, and so she's kind of shorthands everything. She went from the animals to the aminos to now the aminos. So I want to develop a brand tonight around the idea of a clothing company built around ethical clothing practices. Uh, that sort of focus on uh, you know, non-animal uh, like furs and non-animal testing and sort of like a really positive idea for a brand that we can try launch tonight. Um, so one of the things, it's going to be a clothing brand because that's what it's focused on, animal clo uh, a positive animal clothing brand. So we're going to pick an industry. And then from here, uh, what we have are inspiration ideas for possible logos. The idea here is that these are labeled logos, and we want to bring out the inner vision that you have about the brand you want to make. And I don't want to use the words like elegant, because in your mind, in my mind, we might have different ideas about what that word means and what that looks like. These logos are all labeled with color information, with typography information, with branding information, so that the natural intentions that you have arise from your selections, from the visual connection, not necessarily from the uh, lexical connection. Uh, so from there, once we kind of select a couple of logos that we might like, which Mike has already done, the next thing is the color palette. And colors have a strong emotional connection with the brand, so it's really important that you pick your colors right and you blend them well together. So we want to have a bold, strong, a really elegant uh, design for a clothing brand. So colors like black uh, are a really good baseline foundation for that. And then also, uh, because of this compassion idea and hearts and positivity, we want to go with a color like red. That's another brand that is a color that associates well with a brand like that. So our color selected, uh, the next thing we want to do is just drop in the actual name for our company, uh, which is going to be Amino. And now the next thing is uh, picking your symbol. So do we have Wi-Fi in here? <laughs> wow, that was a great demo. We don't even have the Wi-Fi connected yet. It's OK. It's a quick. Mars yeah, MarsCast. Well, you're going to have to refresh the page and go through that really quickly. I want to pause the timer. <laughs> it really breaks up a speech rhetoric when you got to like go through and just wait for an internet connection. Yeah, by the way, if you guys haven't realized, the app's online. It's connected to the internet. Yeah, you need an internet connection to use the tool. Of this app. <laughs> You're going to have to refresh it, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> OK, just jump through this really quickly. Um, OK. I'm going to take an extra two minutes. I'm sorry, just for the delay. <laughs> Good thing is it doesn't take a long time, so you can restart this process pretty quickly. OK, back to symbols. OK, so with the symbol, we wanted to pick something that resonates with the sort of the empathy idea and heart and compassion. So we're going to pick heart as a symbol. 
Um, and then from there, we want to have, your symbol is supposed to be a connecting piece to your brand. So it's got to be able to stand out visually unique from just the actual word mark itself. So we want to have a heart, but kind of a distinct looking heart, something that maybe is original or maybe not seen before. So we're going to kind of have more of an artistic looking heart to this piece. With those selected, um, we're going to now take all those things that we call the ingredients and assemble them into our final logo product, essentially. So at this point, what we're trying to do is give you a broad set of options of potential logos and then let you basically select things that you like and help narrow the thinking down. So when you have a brand, so here you can scroll through and see a bunch really quickly. Uh, you can select more, but if you want to scroll to the top, so you've already burned a little bit of time. Um, you now have tons of options. You can keep t iterating, tweaking, and working off your selections. But one of the things that we try to also do is there's an element of control. Brands need to be personal. So we also want to give you the ability to edit and customize it to make it just right for you. So in this case, one of the things that we want to do is like, okay, gold looks nice, but maybe that's not what our brand wants. So we want to change the color right away to maybe an actual more heart-like color. So quick red color will kind of do that for us. Uh, and then also we look at the text. It doesn't really work now with the red, so maybe jumping that to a white text. You'll also see that we do things like suggest colors along the way because we know what colors work well together to help guide you through that process and reduce the amount of creativity load. Now we're almost there, but when you have a unique font, a new like uh, brand, you also have a unique typeface to go with it. So let's actually change the typeface here, uh, and then we're gonna so pull up the the name variations thing. So you got to pull up that actually the whole thing. And from here, uh, we want to basically pick uh, the one in the third. Actually, looks pretty good. It resonates pretty well with uh, the brand we're trying to do. So just click the choose button. Um, and now we also like, you know, now we're getting closer, we're getting more refined, but we also probably want to change the logo itself to kind of resemble this sort of sketchy look of the handwriting font. So again, you can click the logo, uh, click the symbol, and then uh, when you pull it up, what you'll see an interesting thing that happens right away. So is that the amino acid comes up. We try to pull your root term from your brand and associate with it. Obviously, it's a different word here. Uh, we want to have a, a sketchy looking heart. So we type like heart sketchy in there. Um, we're trying to assign, associate adjectives with the symbol. And then from there, the second symbol right there looks like something that kind of connects really well. So if you choose that. And in just about under about two minutes now, we've really quickly created a brand and created a logo for it that has a unique mark, a unique uh, look, and something that is easily marketable for this new brand. From there, if you were to go on to buy, which we're not going to do right now, you'd be able to get your brand guidelines, all your asset packages in various file types, and all of a sudden, in under 30 seconds, we helped bring a vision to life and help create a brand and help businesses now reach an audience that may be associated and connecting with something they're trying to do and help them succeed. So that is uh, Logo Joy in a nutshell and our ambition to be on a mission to help automate design and extend this process to not just logos, but all creativity. As many of the presenters have pointed out, connecting people and helping them with creativity, not necessarily completely hijacking and taking over the process. Thank you. So I just want to ask you guys just two, two really, really quick questions since you're up here. So the first one, the price came up, it was sort of from 20 to 200. Is that kind of what this package would cost, roughly? Yeah, when you're looking at uh, design packages, like typically if you're working with a designer, you're dealing with anywhere from 500 to $5,000. What we're trying to do with this is not, uh, like our, our thinking is a price point that works well for the audience, but also it's about that creative back and forth. The hardest part about working with designers is that like you want to make a change. So you request something and you're, you're paying for each of those minutes that you're asking for changes. Here we're giving you the power to make those changes yourself to refine your vision the way you see without that waiting back and forth and paying for that. And just give us, a, you know, sorry, 10 seconds, just give us a sound bite on how your business is doing now, what you're doing next, kind of where are you in this trajectory, because you are a pretty incredible startup story in Canada. Uh, yeah, so we're about 17 months into this project. Uh, we've already got over 2 million uh, registered users on the application, sold over 70,000 branding packages. Um, we're basically uh, just looking to accelerate and now expand our toolkit to something more than just logos, but to all branding needs. And so you're raising, or are you, uh, what, yeah? I mean, yeah. It, yeah, we're in the process of closing, something like that. We're like, I mean, I don't know what point of my discussion about that is that, but <laughs> we're, uh, we're at 20 people right now. Right, and uh, hiring. Yes, uh, so for the marketing crowd, <laughs> we're looking at hiring and expanding our marketing team, particularly around SEO, customer acquisition, content. So yeah, if you got your hands up, that's the dude to talk to about that. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much, that was great. Thank you very much.